Alright. I'm gonna mulligan all of this. Direwolf's a pretty bad two here. We want, like, Alley Cat into... There's Alley Cat. Okay, we want, like, Alley Cat into... Like, Hyena is really good if they just have, like, a turn one, like, Buccaneer or whatever. Attack. What's tracking? We need a three drop. We'll take Grub. Uh, we'll kill the the ugly cat and attack with the cute cat. We're adding the Zoth. The deck doesn't really even have that many uh, death rivals. It has a Rat Pack and kind of grandmother, and that's it. Wow. All right. Well, we have carrying Grub, which can become. El Grebe Grande with the Houndmaster. <laughs> They're cute cats, Bront. I'm more of a dog guy these days. I actually like really like cats more than dogs growing up, but then I learned that dogs are the greatest. I mean, this Tabby Cat is clearly really cute. But look at the, where's the other cat go? Oh, he killed it, so. But no one cares that he killed it because it's the ugly cat. Alright. I'm um, just gonna hound match. I think I just go face. It's four seven. There's no reason to attack a minion, right? Like, I can also just like dispatch Kodo, this or something. But I could potentially like smuggler's crate and dispatch Kodo, or even just like play the Tundra Rhino. I think we just suit up. We're not gonna get it better than El Grabi Grande, so. Alright. Um, well, let's Tundra Rhino. Do we Tundra Rhino? Actually, we can Unleash. I can Unleash Hyena. Unleash Hyena's gotta be better. We've even killed this. I guess he can Corcron this, but then he's just still just so far behind. Like, I have a board, he has nothing. This is just not how Pirate Warrior is gonna be gonna win. <laughs> I broke your heart when I said the small guy was ugly. Why is Tundra out on this deck? It's one of the best cards in the deck. It acts as like removal and like your kill condition a lot of times. Tundra Rhino plus any of the Death Rattle guys, like Rat Pack, especially with uh Scavenging Hyena, is just absolutely brutal. Mortal Strike him, okay. I'm gonna smuggle this crate into Rhino. Eh, went on this guy, which is gonna be great for next turn. We have, what, six on board plus another five, ten. Yeah, he's dead next turn. If he kills this, he's not dead next turn. But what's he gonna kill this? What is he gonna do? Leroy this? <laughs> Reaper, okay. So you're not dead next turn, but you're using all your damage on my minions and thus going to die. Okay. So we get him for five with the Kodo, right now with like this next to Kodo. Trading Dan's game. He may draw the Taunt Pirate. That's not going to save him. This guy's huge. And I also have this button. That's a 23. I guess you could Mortal Strike this. I'm not really playing as, as like, calculated as I could. <laughs> just kind of, like, kill you with this, kill you with this. <laughs> if I were thinking about Mortal Strike, I might have, like, you know, just played, like, this, this, shoot you or something, then play this next turn. But the fact that he has to deal with this now is also pretty huge, because he doesn't have that ability to push damage to me, either, which is crucial. He only has four cards in hand. Well, he only... There's actually kind of a lot of cards for a Pirate Warrior to have at this stage. Okay. Alright, so he's not actually not dead. I have to kill this. I have to be the one trading Dan's game. 
The Kodo did deal five because it was it was next to the uh, the Direwolf Alpha. Imagine if Flame Dunkabu was a card in Hearthstone. So it is. It's called Dispatch Kodo. It's basically a reverse Flame Dunkabu. It's a two four instead of a four two. Still deals damage. You can twist attack, okay, but you can buff it. This basically was a Flame Dunkabu. This game. And the trades continue. Dan's game. Okay. Well, he's trying to add up to. Let's move it to 14. The biggest two card combo he can do is 12, right? And we're definitely doing this and this. The question is... It's 8, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is it better for me to attack, just trade this in and attack this? If he has, like, Leroy, Mortal Strike, he has 12, so we actually, we want to kill this. The question is, do we attack our grandmother in and attack this in? So we have a 3-2. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're one off. We kill him with anything. We kill him with anything anyway. If I do one here, he goes to 8. So I end up having one less damage next turn, but I still have this body if it matters. He's done that as 1, right? Maybe, maybe an Unleash, actually. Yeah. Possibly we're, we're, we'll be able to kill with an Unleash for one by doing this, because we have more damage next turn. Like, this does more damage over two turns by popping it and getting the 3-2. And, like I said, if he plays a minion and I draw Unleash the Hounds, this kills him, whereas the other play did not. He's already played both Heroic Strikes, a Mortal Strike, and a Reaper. Alright. Well, Unleash kills him. All planned. Actually did exactly plan that by attacking the Big Bad Wolf into his guy. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. 